Welcome to the home of the Buckos since 2001, PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Atlanta Braves and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now it'll be Ozzie Albies, one of the better hitters in the game this year, Leading currently the seventh the in the National League batting race. Base. Swinging a ball Albies. hit on the ground. Albies. First pitch, 1235. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. The 0 2 once more. And he stays alive here as he gets a piece of this, and in turn, he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate. The 0 2 once more. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Knee high, he barehands it. Got him. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Not exactly. The shortstop, Dansby Swanson. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. Last night was a good one for him as he turned in a four for five effort. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And we should see some 90s as we go forward. 88 degrees, our game time temperature. And he takes a cold strike up and out over the plate, 0 and 2. So let's take a peek at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, behind the dish, D Row, Larry Bullard. Pretty standard guy, works it. Only problem, but I think at times, hitters have a little bit difficult time. He'll give a little bit of that inside corner and outside corner. Not very consistent. Yeah, but Larry's approachable. That's the one thing. If you turn around and say, is that as far as you're going on the outer half, he's usually going to tell you. Newman brings it in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Braves are set down one, two, three. And now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. So now into the box is Kevin the Newman. Base. He'll lead things off Kevin. here in the bottom half of the first. Newman. Guys, one of D Rose's former employers, the Braves, as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, D Rose, I think one of the things you want to do, you get to the third game, you'd like to win this series and finish it off by winning game three. It's always nice to win a series, whether it's at home or on the road. So this is a big one for this ball club. That is and that will bring up Eric, Eric. Gonzalez. Nine at-bats in the series oh, and four base hits. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. One and oh. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider. Just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Down the left field line and deep. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, it's going to be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. Here now the 2 2. Popped him up. Riley has a play. Two down. So now to the plate, keep Ryan Hayes. Keep Ryan. Average on the season sits hey. right at 290 oh, to begin the day. One ball, no strikes to count. May have gotten a piece of that one, but no matter, it's one and one. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. Here comes the one, two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Ozuna is under it. And that's the third out. One, two, three go the Pirates. Still no score. Here's the first pitch. Ronald Acuna stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. And guys, as we take a look at the Pirates coming into this afternoon, they come in off a good victory last time out, but one that was just their second win in their last eight tries. 
Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, D-Roll? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of this series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal the series right here. Marcelo Zuna is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal in a spot like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play just to knock that. Well, the side is retired as they make the play. No run. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. Go. Nine at bats for right. him in the series so Let's far, and he's collected it's a pair Ryan. of hits. Ball one to start Good the at bat. A 2 0 oh count to the Bucks center fielder. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, -oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Too tight with oh. that one. 3 and 0. Oh. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. High in the air into shallow left center. Swanson calls for it. One away. That is good. Here's Gregory Polanco. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. No balls in one strike. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0 and 2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Too high. One and two. Swung on and belted to right by Polanco. This one's deep. Right fielder looking up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Jacob Stallings that will be the next hitter. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. Oh, I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly yeah. boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. One and one the count now. Now a slider down the middle, but laid off. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Jacob Stallings Stop. goes down for the, the second baseball. out in the bottom All half. Right. And he is frozen oh, on man. a good curveball that started at his hip at strike one. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more. I'll tell you right now, he let go of that one and he wanted to pull it back. That was a hanger, bad spot over the heart of the plate. He's lucky. He's lucky that's getting sent back to him. Lifted the other way to left center. Acuna on the move. Around first, digging for two. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Hey guys, that's a well executed slider down the way right there. The batter just did an amazing job of staying inside the baseball and driving it the other way. Adam Frazier is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1 0. One ball, one strike to count. Moran stands at second with two gone. Up high, 2 and 1 now. All even now, 2 and 2. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because 
They don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. And that's going to fall for a base hit. He'll come home with it. And he is in there at the plate. It's now a 2-0 game. Boy, I don't know about that pitch selection right there, Dior. You have a base open with the pitcher on deck. Not very good pitching right there. Cool. Dan, as a guy who hit eighth in the National League a time or two, nothing's more difficult than to try and mind meld with the pitcher and come up with a game plan when you know you got the pitcher on deck. Shocking that he was coming after him right there in that big spot, and he paid the price. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Now Looking to minimize the damage here. Kevin Newman is in for his second plate appearance Newman. as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in. Striding forward for his first chance, Austin Riley. And we'll see if he's able to stay locked in. Without a doubt, one of the hotter hitters on this ball club right now. Owen won the count. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off-speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Christian Pache is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. Ugh, was that ugly. You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. One one pitch is a knuckle curve. He's in the hole now, one and two. Yeah, Matty, I'm gonna need a better approach out of the eight all hitter. He's hitting in the bottom of the order for a reason. He's got to be willing to work the count, grind it, get this pitch count up, and get on for the boys in front of him. Hey, guys, one of the best shortstops in the game, but he's going to tell you right there, he had to take the extra step because a little bit of a fumble in that glove forced him to have to gather himself, and it cost him. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Hey, pretty good swing right there by the pitcher. I know he'll be telling his boys in the dugout to take some hitting lessons from him if he's going to square line drives up all day. So up steps Ozzie Albies, and he puts it on the ground to second. Newman fields it cleanly to second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. So it's first and third with two away, and that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. He's ready. Now the pitch as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. That misses one and two. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. It's now a two to one ball game. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw out a ribby knot. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You're one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases, getting into the inning, and next thing you know, you give up a two-out, two-strike base hit. Nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen. 2-0 and now. The set and the 2-0. and this is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Braves will settle for just. And welcome back to Pittsburgh as we check in on the field with Heidi. So now here is Eric Gonzalez. Popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make That's an adjustment time. right here. Eric. His swing definitely broke down, Good. dropped Solid. his back shoulder. And thus, the result was a terrible pop-up foul. And this is lined hard to deep left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. 
up next to the fire. Third base As we take a look at the pitch count, you can see that it's not that high. But you have to wonder maybe if the heat is taking it out on this guy a little bit. The weather can be the great equalizer, especially when the temps are starting to rise like this. Brian Hayes digging in now. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Line drive base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Back to back doubles now, and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit, lacing a double of his own. Could be it. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. At the plate now, Gregory Polanco. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1 0. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. So next to hit the is Kessler. Jacob Stallings. Go. Go for one here in the early going. Go First offering. Now a swing and a fly ball. He'll run this down in foul territory, and here comes the runner from third. And he will beat the throw home. It's a four to one score now. Two out, runner in scoring position at second. And that'll bring up Colin Moran. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Hey, the way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find the zone, I'm not mad at the guy taking the pitch. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut. Acuna digs in now. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder giving chase and a great diving effort there but it'll just tip off his glove and it's a base hit. Boy after that base knock right there d -Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough staying inside the ball not trying to do too much. One and oh the count. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. And he fouls this one off. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Polanco giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Bases are empty here with two away. And up next, the catcher, Travis Garno. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Great execution of that change up right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front on that one. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Up next for Atlanta. The third baseman. Austin Riley. Into the box now. Austin Riley. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Struck out in his first at bat. Down and away. Ball one. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Throw over to the bag. Darno, the runner at first with two gone. 
And he popped him up. On the move is Polanco. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Here comes the one two. This is line to left in there a base hit. Well when you're going as well as he is not even a two strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah Maddie, he's having a monster season well over 300 right there when you're feeling that confident at the plate it doesn't matter what the count is you're willing to go deep and still feel confident. Strike one to start the at bat. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Hit out towards second. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Now a long throw home. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. In now, Max Freed. He grounds it sharply to third. Reined in. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. Braves will settle. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that brings up Adam Four Frazier. Pilots. For me, this is an important add on Adam. inning here. Their little lead Frazier. is cute. I like it, but keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury someone. In for a strike, it's one and one. Fouled off. And another foul ball. He'll try again one two. And this pitch is popped straight up right around the home plate area. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. The pitcher number 39. First pitch yeah. of the A.B. now. Cool. Chad Cool will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back, and he misses two and one. To two and two now. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Sent on the ground out to second. To Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Up and now here right. is Kevin Newman. The he lined baseman. out in his last Never. trip, so looking for better fortunes Newman. here. In there at the knees, strike one. And it's fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Grounded weakly toward third. Fielded cleanly. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. And as a former yeah, pitcher, I can tell That's you, nothing stop. is more painful Aaron. than having to get extra outs Good in an inning. Baller. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. Eric Gonzalez is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. One error. Back to the top of the order now and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzy Albies. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. He pulls this one into right. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. And the screen shows the story right there, as that hitting streak will live to see another day. Just classic confidence in the box right now. You put your head on the pillow at night, you know you're on time. You get up, get dressed, drive to the ballpark, you expect to catch a couple barrels. Dansby Swanson is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1 0. Oh. 
tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't. One and one. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. But that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six inches. Two and two. Now a throw over to first. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. And now in the box, Freddie Freeman rounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. Oh, what a stop on the slide. The second for one, not in time. Next to dig in, Ronald Acuna. He's one for two in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Freeman isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he's safe at the plate as it's now a one-run ball game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. A hit in two tries for him so far. Comes set. The 0-1. Rounded weakly to the left. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Braves pick up a run. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And up next is Keepion Hayes. The third baseman. Line to the right He's side. Higher. And this will get oh. through into right. And he's aboard with a single. So that's a pair of hits for him now this afternoon as he lines that, that one sharply high. into right. And as the you can see there on the team leaderboard, Ryan. he's currently tops on the ball club in that Good department man. as we approach the all-star break. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. Yeah. One there yeah. on to yeah. Freeman. A double play. Yeah. Next yeah. to hit is Gregory Polanco. Gregory. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park oh, just like he did back in the second. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Fouled away. The next 0 2. Ball. Lots of hits given up, but so far no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh, but they hang on to a one-run lead, four to three. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Travis Darno. Travis Darno. Here's the first pitch. Good bike to the slider, and he takes strike one. And some action now in the Pirates bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. A one one. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side and this is going to be a foul ball. Look out that one almost got away from him two and two now. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. 
throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting. Next to stand in game. is Austin, Austin Riley, a hit in two at Riley. bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. Down the third baseline, but this is foul for the first strike. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. 4 3 our score here as we play inning number six. Line drive to center field, but sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts now it away it. without much trouble the right for the second out. Christian Pache. Stepping in once again is Christian Pache. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Here's a slider to start things out, looked at for ball one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Moran is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And now it will be the catcher, Jacob Stallings. This one's down to third. Right to him. And there's one away. So next to bat will be Colin Moran, singled in his last at bat. And that's taken for strike one. This is on the ground over the first. Oh, just a brutal hop, and it goes right by him. And there's out number two. Now back. So here is Adam Frazier. Adam. Thought we might be seeing the end of the road for the starter, but clearly he's still in there for at least one more hitter. Yeah, I'm not sure, Maddie, but I think this lefty-lefty matchup right here may have been enough to convince the manager to stay with him. So we'll see if it works out. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. And now a ball hit pretty well down that right field line. This has some carry to it, and it is gone. Home run. Normally, this matchup is the last thing you want to see left on left, but he kept his front shoulder square, stayed in that at bat, and absolutely demolished that baseball. Michael Perez set the plate now as he looks at strike one. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. Swing and a liner, but this will find the shortstop's glove for the third out of the inning. One in the inning for the Pirates. David Bednar is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Jason Kipnis is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. 264 is average entering play. Five homers and 14 driven in. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. And there's a base hit, so a good job off the bench to get him started here in the seventh. You don't get too many pitches. Now back. The second base. First pitch coming. Here it is. A ball and no strikes. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Grounder down the line at third. He pulls this one into right. And that'll get down for a base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Boy, D. Rowe, when you're starting to swing it like this team, it doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? And he gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. But not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. 
when it left the bat, I thought the outfielder had a beat on it. Gave it a heck of an effort. He's going high for it, but he just can't bring it down. The run came across the score, and he's safely at second, hoping his teammates can return the favor. Freddie Freeman is at the plate as he watches ball one. David. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Polanco to the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And the second run will score as well. You know, it's awfully difficult to score runs late in the game the after being down by one, Dero. That Whoa. base hit drives in two. That's a huge base hit. What a momentum swing. What an A-B right there. Now you got to grab your leather and go out and flash some D for the boys. Ronald Acuna stands in as he looks at ball one here. Advantage count 2-0 to the brave center fielder. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage down. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a 1-1 game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0-1 on its way. Now a slider well off the plate, an easy take there. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? There's one. On to first to complete the double play. Now back. So the base is empty now after the double play. And next to hit is the catcher, Travis Darnot. First offering lifted into the air to shallow center. Waiting on it is Goodwin. And the inning is over. Ladies so it's four runs. Oscar Yinawa gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 73. Oscar. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. Now to the plate, here is Eric Gonzalez, who represents the potential time Good run stop. if he can launch Eric. one or find a way around Good the bases. Color. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. Three for four. Now He's looking Center locked fielder. in. At the plate, oh, yeah. Brian Goodwin. He swings Goodwin. and lines it to left. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Start of the eighth on its way. But Ladies first, Heidi Watney You're standing by point. with this report. Chris now, Stratton's been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do Number so to start six. the eighth. As he'll Rick. go after the first pitch and bounce Rick. it into foul territory. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Up next, board, Up next right. Christian Pache. He's two for Christian. three and looking for more Pache. here. Tapped out in front of home. In time to first, and there are two away. So here now is the pitcher, Oscar Yinawa, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. The windup and the 0-1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Frazier finds some space out there for the catch to... Leading off the inning, it'll be Gregory Polanco. As they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Acuna's there for it. Makes the play one away. Polanco. 
Now batting. So the Catcher. next of the plate for Pittsburgh, Jacob, Jacob Stallings, 0 for Go 2 man. with a sacrifice thus far. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. The bat. The first so two gone here in the Pittsburgh Colin. eighth, and that'll bring up Ball Colin man. Moran. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Comes set with the 0 and 1. And this is swung on and grounded out to Swanson at short. He's got it. Throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area. Infield in the over shift here now the pitch. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Goodwin is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. The batter, number seven. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. He's got two hits in four at bats. Hit on the ground is short. And that's the second out. The now into the box. Freddie Freeman Freddie. drove in two runs on a double in his last at bat. Swing and a line drive. And a little self preservation down at first. Will Smith is the man called now on to close this one and earn a save Number in the night. Adam yeah. Frazier will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. The first baseman. Here's the first no. pitch. While you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast, he didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile, bringing the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, he could tell these things and exploit them. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another 0-2 home. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Pache is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now at the plate, Eric Gonzalez. The batter, and he needs Eric to make Jr. something happen. They're Good down stop. to their final out Eric. here in the ninth. Gonzalez. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Oh, two pitches, a curveball that misses one and two. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. Swing and a blooper down the right field line. In there, a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Nice A.B. right 13. there. Two out single in the ninth. You put yourself in a position to be the tying run. Now you have your boy coming up behind you, the winning run at the plate. Start loosening up the water cooler lids. We could have a walk-off happen. To first. Step on first for the out and the ball game is over. This